When being a flow slave, the aspect of time is very essential and very crucial. We really need to know the number of days that we will require to cast a slab. Not only a slab, but when you're doing any concrete work, the aspect of time is very essential. So guys, welcome back again to this channel. And on today, we want to see how we can get the, uh, the number of days that we are going to, to require to cast that slab. So in this case, we are going to estimate the number of days keeping in mind that we have the materials right there on site and the, the number of days that we are looking for are the number of days that we are going to take to, to concrete our slab. Now we are going to use a concrete mixer and then we are going to cast a slab. So we want to really find the number, the number of days. So we are going to take the materials. We are going to assume that we have the materials right here on the mixing site where we have our mixer and this is where we need to, to cast our slab. So we are going to use the data that we have been given so that we can be able to estimate the number of days. So we have the concrete mixer capacity of 0 0.2 meter cubic, loading time three minutes. This time is one minute, mixing time is two minutes, mixer efficiency is 80%, hours work is eight hours. Now the flow slab that we are going to cast is here we have 12 meters by 15 meters by a thickness of 0 0.15 meters. So we want to find we want to find the number of days that is going to take us to do this this work here. So with the data that we have, we can proceed and find the the number of days. Now we have cycle time. Cycle time is the time that you take for, to produce one batch. One batch means once you've poured your concrete here, it mixes. So the, the act of loading and then the act of the concrete mixing and then the act of discharging, that is one batch, which is one cycle. Now this cycle, we had loading time of three minutes. We had discharging time of one minute and then we had mixing time of two minutes. So this total gives us six minutes. Now let's find the number of cycles produced in one hour of 60 minutes. So one cycle is six minutes, what about 60 minutes? So that will be 60, one times 60 divided by six, that gives us 10 cycles. That means in one hour, in one hour of 60 minutes working effectively, this mixer here is going to produce 10 batches. It means you are going to load and discharge 10 times. So it's going to produce 10 cycles. Let's find the number of cycles that it's going to produce in eight working hours because we were told the number of working hours is eight. Now, if in one cycle it produces eight cycles, in one hour it produces eight, 10 cycles, sorry. What about eight? Eight working hours. So it's going to be 10 times eight giving us 80 cycles. So it means in one day, in one working day, it's going to give us 80 cycles. So these cycles here of concrete are going to be 80. Now let's find the mixer capacity. The mixer capacity, the capacity of this drum mixer, we were told is 0 0.2. And then it has an efficiency of 80%. 80% efficiency, it means the drum mixer cannot be able, to, this 0 0.2 is what is in the manufacturer. It's been manufactured of. But in actual sense, it cannot be able to produce 0 0.2 meter cubic of concrete on site. So on site, it has an efficiency of 85. So this 85 is what is going to give us the actual capacity. So the actual capacity will be 85 over 100 times the mixer capacity, which was 0 0.2, giving us 0 0.14 meter, meter cubic. Now this is what we can be able to ascertain, or this is what the mixer can be able to produce on site. Now, if this is what it produces, this is now what the mixer produces in one cycle. In one cycle, in one loading, mixing, and discharging, it's able to produce 0 0.17. Now, <clears throat> in one cycle, it produces 0 0.17. So, what is the amount of concrete that is going to produce in eight hours? Remember, in 80 hours, we add 80 cycles because we add 10 cycles in one hour and then 10 multiplied by 80, we have 80 cycles in one, one day of eight hours. So in one, it's going to produce 80 times 0 0.17, that is 13.6 meter cubic in eight hours. That is in one, in one day. <clears throat> 
Let's proceed and find the volume of the slab. That is length, width, and thickness. So our length is 15, our width is 12, our thickness is 0 0.15. So tabulating that one, we get 27 meter cubic. So this is what this is what we require. This is the volume of concrete that is required for this slab. Now let's find the number of days. In one day, remember we are producing 13.6. The volume that is required is 27 meter cubic. So let's find the number of days. So the number of days required will be the total concrete divided by the concrete produced in one day. So our co total concrete is 27 meter cubic. Concrete produced in one day is 13.6 meter cubic. So if you divide that one, you are going to get 1.96. So it means we are going to take two, two days to do that, that work. So guys, that is how fast you can calculate the number of days that you require to cast your concrete. Remember, it's very essential even in planning for you to be able to know the number of, of days that you're going to be on that site. If you're hiring your materials, it's going to be very helpful for you to be able to know what you require. If it's for labor, it's also going to be very helpful. Thank you for your time. Until next time, bye-bye.